What is up, guys? Cobra29 is back with a brand new video. Um, so recently, the Dev King uh, released a new video. I'm not going to play it right now. I don't want to get copyright strike. But he released a video saying he made an infinite obby. And with my brain, I obviously started thinking, how can I make a video showing an easy way to do that same exact thing? So, that's what I've come up with uh, for you guys, an easy way to make an infinite obby. So, first off, you're going to grab the kit. Link will be in the description. Also, if you want to check out his video, the link will be in the description as well. Um, but you're just going to grab the kit that I have included in the uh, in the description, and then go to the toolbox. Make sure that you have a um, <clears throat> a base plate, and go ahead and just delete the base plate altogether. Okay, so now I have made a kit called Infinite Obby Kit. So we're just going to drag that into our game. And perfect. So something I need you to do before we start is make sure make sure that this is open right here. And you're going to go into View and make sure that the View Selector is open. Uh, and then just make sure that if you point toward the way that the obby is trying to go, the X is pointing toward you. Okay? Not away, but toward you. Like that. Okay? So that's all good. Uh, it should be with the kit, but uh, just in case. And now, so this is the obby that I've included. Um, I am not a very good graphic designer, so that's where when I use um, models for my graphic designing, as you probably already know. Um, but I do. I have done the scripting and found a pretty easy and um, safer beginner way to uh, make an infinite obby. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into server script service, and we're going to insert a script. Whoops, my bad. We're gonna <laughs> insert a script. We can go ahead and call this script uh, obby. Whoops, no space. Cloning, like that. Obby cloning. So this is where we're going to be handling the infinite obby stuff. So I said infinite, and I want to clear something up. This isn't necessarily an infinite obby. It's just going to go on for, uh, for a long, long time. I will at the end of the video how show you how you can make it infinite, literally, but I really would not recommend doing that. I would recommend having it be just a really long obby that gives the impression that it's infinite. Um, the reason I wouldn't recommend doing that is because if it keeps on cloning and cloning and cloning for cloning forever and ever and ever and ever, literally it's it's the game is gonna lag so bad. So um, I would recommend not doing it. But if you want to, I mean, I'll show you a little bit of a safe way to do that without it lagging like crazy. But for now, let's just get on with uh, the the uh, the main part of the video. So we're gonna say local count equals and this is how many times you want your obby to clone so how many times do you want this whole chunk to be repeated i'm gonna have mine just because my computer gets really laggy um with this sort of stuff i'm gonna set mine to uh 99 keep in mind whatever number you uh you choose it will do one more than that okay so if you choose 99 it's gonna go to 100 Okay, uh, and then we're going to say wait three. Just make sure that everything's loaded into the game. All right, so now we're going to say four I equals one. Whoa, sorry about that. I just, my styling, you don't have to do that, but count one, do. So this is looping through. We're saying I is equal to one. As long as it's not equal to count, which is currently 99, we're going to keep looping and we're going to add one to I. So it's pretty simple. We're basically looping through a hundred times. Okay, um, that's all we're doing now. So we can say local cloned obby equals game dot workspace colon find first child not ancestor child, and then we can say in quotation marks obby dot dot i, and then outside colon clone. Okay, so. The reason we're doing this is because I have this named as obby1. Currently, i is 1. So we're looking for obby i or obby1, okay? Uh, so that's pretty simple. Um, I know it might, might seem like a lot to you, but if, if it does, that's totally fine. This is a little more advanced than beginner coding. <laughs> um, so we can just say, so we've already cloned the obby we need to clone. We can say cloned obby dot parent equals workspace. So we're just putting it in the workspace. And then we can say cloned obby dot name equals obby dot dot i plus one. Okay, so we're basically, right now, because i is one, 
we're going to uh, name this obby i plus 1, which would be obby 2. And then the next time it comes around, it's going to automatically add 1 to i, so this will become, uh, the new clone will be obby 3. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, and we're going to be cloning the last thing that we just cloned, okay? So we're going to say 4i, comma, v in pairs. Uh, we're going to say cloned obby, colon, get children, like that do. So we're looping through everything that's in the obby. That's why I have no models inside of the obby. Make sure there are no models inside of the obby. Make sure they're all parts. And then we're going to say uh, if v colon is a whoops, part, then, so it sh everything should be a part by now, but I'm just putting that there in case you guys accidentally add a model or something. Um, so if so if the, uh, because it's looping through every single thing in here. So if it's a part, then we're going to say uh, v dot brick color equals brick color. <coughs> Sorry about that. Dot random. Okay, so we're basically just um, kind of spicing things up a little bit, making it different. Every single time it's going to have a random color that it clones. So I think that looks really cool, has a cool effect. We're also going to say v dot position equals v dot position uh, uh, minus vector three dot new, and then we're going to say four hundred and fifty zero or comma zero comma zero. So this is basically putting this entire thing over here to start over again. Okay, it's putting all this obby right in front of it so it continues on on and on and on and so forth. Okay. We're also right here going to before that end say else if v dot name equals equals truss then because I have a couple trusses here right here and these aren't parts these are truss parts which is interesting um, but we want to still clone those so we're just going to copy the same exact code v dot brick color all that good stuff. And then outside of two ends, we're going to say wait and, whoops, not workspace, wait. And this is really up to you. Um, the, I would make it a pretty short wait, like 0 .001. So it, it will lag really bad for a little, for like maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds. But then the game is perfect and it's really cool. So I'm going to just show you. I'm going to run it. And literally every point... Oh, oh, one second. See, look at look at all those clones. It's literally going on and on and on and on and on. And look at we have different colors each time. So <laughs> it's literally going on and on. You can't even see the end to this obby because of how long it is going. Pretty soon here, it's gonna be done cloning. There we go. It's fin finally finished cloning. Dude, I'm still scrolling. So yeah. This is really um, just a cool feature, uh, or a, a cool game, because it totally shows how much you can do with scripting. Like, you can literally make an infinite obby. I know this isn't actually infinite, this is only a hundred of these, but still, you can actually make an infinite- I'm still scrolling! Alright, I'm gonna speed this up and get to the end of this. Oh my gosh, I made it to the end, and you can't even see the <laughs> the beginning now. So I think that's really crazy and awesome. I hope you guys liked that, and I thought uh, that you thought that was an awesome feature. Um, now I'm going to show you how you can make it literally infinite. However, I would really strongly suggest that you just don't do that. That you have a set number, even if it's a thousand, that's going to lag pretty bad at first. But I would really suggest you don't do this, but I'm going to show you how you can if you want to. So we're going to get rid of the for loop and the end right here, if you want to make it literally infinite. And we're just going to say, actually, go ahead and put the end back. While, wait, and then I'm, I'm going to say five, do, and that's all you have to do. It's every, and then uh, you can change this, but this is saying every five seconds it's going to clone um, another... Uh, thing and then we'll also have to say um, bar. Um, I sorry, I started learning a different language. Um, lo local i equals and then it's currently uh, one. 
And then at the end here where it says weight 0.001, we're going to say i equals i plus 1. That's all you need. I'm going to run it. It's probably going to lag really bad. But so you'll notice that every 5 seconds it should clone. Yep, every 5 seconds it'll clone. And you can change that from 5 to 1. See, it just cloned again. It, it will it will clone forever and ever and ever. Um, but I really strongly uh, don't suggest that you do that. Because um, it, it's just going to ruin... It's going to ruin your game. So I really strongly, 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 strongly can't stress how much I suggest you do not do that. Um, so, like... Here we go. We've got obby two, obby two. Perfect. We've got a glitch. <laughs> I'm saying perfect. You guys are like, dang it, glitches. Um. So basically, what I uh, did here, uh, we can just say i equals zero right here, and just take that i equals i plus one right there. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you really want to make it infinite, I again still strongly suggest that you do not do this. <laughs> um, but you know it works. Obby one, obby two. Soon we'll have obby two again. Ooh, we have a glitch. Wonderful. Um, local i equals. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Put this local i equals zero up here outside of the while loop like i said just do the for loop in the beginning i'm actually going to set mine back to that i'll publish the game so you guys can go play it uh let me just make sure that, that glitch is fixed i'll be one i'll be two hopefully i'll be three next i'll be three there we go yeah now it's actually going on forever and ever and ever um so yeah i mean it's truly up to you but this literally will go on forever and that can really cause some bad lag. Um, so if you if you actually have at least one player playing 24-7, it's going to completely destroy your game. Somebody do the math. 24 times... No, sorry. five Every five seconds for a whole day. Somebody do the math. Find out how many times it would clone. And that's a really, really big really long obby that will make your players lag. So I'd, I'm going to put it back to the for loop. You can do the same. I would strongly suggest you do the same uh, by just getting rid of that, getting rid of that, and saying for i, equal, uh, I equals 1, count 1, do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to join my group. Link will be in the description. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're updated whenever there's a brand new video that comes out. Um, I hope you just had fun making an infinite obby. Um, it's, it's a really a uh, fun thing. I'm glad that I um, could share it with you guys, and it's been something I've been wanting to do for a little while. So uh, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.